Once again, we'd like to welcome you to today's edition of The Morning Call. That will begin in Algeria. The parliamentary president, Muad Bushareb, quit his post on Tuesday after prolonged demands for his removal by protesters. No reason has been provided for his decision to step down. Deputy Speaker Abdul Razak Tarbash will now run the legislature's affairs until a new speaker is elected within 15 days. Bushareb was a member of the ruling National Liberation Front that was led by ousted president Abdel is Bouteflika. Protesters considered Bushreb as an illegitimate speaker and a pillar of the ruling elite. Hence, his removal from office could just be a sign of victory for the persistent protest movement. Algeria's parliamentary president, Moad Bouchereb, has resigned on Tuesday. This comes after a prolonged demand for his removal by protesters who believe he is a stumbling block to their demands. Three months after long-time President Abdelaziz Bouteflika resigned under pressure, Bouchereb has also followed similar faith. In recent days, pressure from politicians mounted against Bouchereb to step down as well. Tex parliamentary group signed a petition on Sunday demanding Bouchereb to resign immediately to preserve the stability of the country's legislature and the nation. Deputy Speaker Abdul Razak Tarbash has been assigned to run the legislature's affairs until a new speaker is elected within 15 days. Mouad Bouchareb, Acting President Abdel Kader Ben Salah, Prime Minister Noureddin Bedoui, and Chief of Army Staff General Ahmed Gaid Salah are among the main leaders of the Bouteflika presidency, whose departure demonstrators demand every Friday. This resignation is in addition to the institutional uncertainty prevailing in Algeria, with the expiry on July 9 of the interim period at the head of the state, Lynette. Well, we now speak to Hisham Ben Aish editor-in-chief of the new African magazine in Paris, France. Hisham, do you think the resignation of Mouad Bouchereb should be considered as a victory for the protest movement, which has been calling for his removal? We owe this revolution to street protests because Algerians have shown a certain maturity. They are increasing pressure on the system and if there is any left, to be able to enter a new era. And today, Algeria is at crossroads of all the risks because no one can know if it is or it would turn upside down. Mouad Bouchareb's resignation is certainly symbolic but the problem for Algeria today is how to find new men to embody this change. It is really a major challenge for the future. Hicham, Mouad Bouchareb was one of the four strong men in Algeria since the fall of Bouteflika. Can his resignation weaken the transitional power that is inflexible to protests? What do you think? In any case, it is a point one in this battle fought on Algerian streets against the regime. It is currently very difficult to predict what will happen. But in any case, there are limits. And we are going to know about these limits very quickly. Because basically, you can push the system to change. Of course, you can go on to push them to go in the direction you want. But at some point, it will say stop. And I think it will be a life-size test on how to see the Algerian experience change. So we are in the 19th week of protests. It shows that Algeria remains very much determined. Algeria is determined on calling for this continuous cohesion so that there are no centrifugal forces that can split the country or antagonize it. And then the experience is open and in real time. And last but not least, Ishem, from this major announcement, how do you see the political atmosphere in Algeria in the next coming days? 
It is a very necessary phase today. It is quite difficult in a balance of power to enter into a form of composition. But so far, negotiation is also an art that can be learned. So I think there must be a kind of representativeness of all these Algerians from the grassroots, those from the protests. The process is clearly defined, that is, elections are needed, terms and a timetable must be agreed upon. For the transition to take place, the judiciary must also be sufficiently independent to allow people to be judged on the criteria completely linked to their consciences and to be in the kind of middle ground with minimum damage. In others, I should say, is not yet a given. It is difficult to invent a new future or a new way of doing things. Well, Hisham Ben Yaish, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us.